video, I am going to show you um, what I think is a fundamental flaw in the ManyChat default templates they give you when you set up your ManyChat account. And in this scenario, it's about the unsubscribe flow. Um, what I see a lot happening in especially clients' accounts, and that's why we created this solution for this, is that people want to unsubscribe, they type stop or they, uh, they, they click a button, but what happens when you're using the default ManyChat unsubscribe flow is it asks for a, a confirmation. You need to say, are you sure you want to unsubscribe? And what happens? I see a lot of people tapping, typing yes, or yes, please, or get me off your list or, or whatever that people, some people get angry. Um, but what happens when they do not actually confirm, confirm they want to unsubscribe, they are still subscribed. And then this is what happens. Let me close this a little bit. I wrote a post about this and I want to share this, uh, share this with you. So somebody here taps or types unsubscribe. Great. Do you really want to unsubscribe? And then somebody types yes. Now what happens? This person thinks they are unsubscribed. They are not. Now what happens? The next time you're going to do a broadcast, you're going to do this because this person will be in your plus one. This is this person is eligible for the plus one for the follow up broadcast. So they will receive the follow up broadcast or they will receive that sponsored messaging campaign that you're going to roll out. And now what happens? Because these people think they are unsubscribed, they're going to give you negative feedback. Been there, done that. You don't want to have that. So be aware of that. <clears throat> Make sure you fix this. How are you going to fix this? Use this little template I created for you. Actually, we, <laughs> we use this. I'm going to share it with you. It's super easy. So um, what you need to do is, and this will be available for you in, um, as a template, so you can install it one-on-one. -on -one. So first thing you need to do is uh, create a starting step. And the starting step is unsubscribe from bot. Okay, so when somebody types or taps unsubscribe, this flow will actually trigger. Make sense? Now, when this flow triggers, somebody is successfully unsubscribed. Now, they can actually turn on their subscription, whatever the copy you want to use there. And then what I do, instead of sending them, hey, uh, the next post is coming soon, I send them to my welcomes message. And the welcomes message is the same welcomes message that is actually connected to my welcomes message flow. That's just how I build my bots and build my flows. And it's the way how people can navigate to different sections in the bot, whether it's the shop, FAQs, whatever it is. Now, important here is, is what I do with that. So somebody comes here, they unsubscribe, boom, they're immediately unsubscribed. What I do is I create custom audiences. So in this scenario, let me go in here. In this scenario, I have a Facebook custom audience where I add this person add to a custom audience. And it's pretty cool now since a few weeks we can actually remove people from a custom audience. So I add this person to a custom audience, ManyChat unsubscribes. Great. Why? Because I want to be able to use the unsubscribes to exclude them from my sponsored messaging campaigns or even my, my general ad campaigns. I set a custom field for when they are actually uh, unsubscribed. Oh. Well, this doesn't work. And I add, I remove the person actually from an existing custom audience, from as many existing custom audience as I have. In this case, I remove this person from uh, the many chat subscribers all. So I have I have a website custom audience of all my of all my uh, many chat subscribers. I remove them. This might seem redundant. It's more like it's more a safety net. I just like to exclude those people because I've been there before. Um, when you start targeting people who are who think they are unsubscribed, who are actually unsubscribed, that's that's a mess. So this is actually just my safety net. I create an audience of everybody who's unsubscribed, and I also remove people from my general website custom audience. What I also do is I add a tag. I add a tag. Let me see if I can close this. I'm not sure why it's not closing. Um, I add a tag unsubscribed, and this unsubscribe tag actually fires an automation unsubscribe tag triggers a zap, unsubscribe from bot and remove them from my AC list. And AC for me is active campaign, but this could be anything. This could be HubSpot, this could be MailChimp, this could be Klaviyo, whatever it is. 
Uh, but what I want to do is when somebody unsubscribes from my messenger list, I just want to take them out of all lists. Look, I don't necessarily, I don't care if somebody unsubscribes. There's a good reason why somebody unsubscribes. But then I'm just going to take you from my list. And you, if you want to resubscribe again, whether through email or messenger, well, you will find me. You will see me at some point. So this is just my way of keeping my lists, lists clean. Now, how does this work? I'm just going to show you quickly. So the tag unsubscribe unsubscribe tag triggers zap unsub from bot is removed from AC list. Well, check this out. Oh, I got this zap here. The new tagged user is the trigger and the trigger is unsubscribed. I push these people to a, uh, to a spreadsheet and then I have two paths because what can happen, not everybody in my, uh, not every ManyChat subscriber actually is pushed to my active campaign list because not everybody gives, gives me their email address. So what I did, I created paths. And then the paths are, okay, if the user that go, comes into or through this zap has an email, see this? So email is true, email is available, whatever you wanna call it. User custom field email exists, then remove this person from my active campaign list. Um, there we go. I just remove this person. And I remove this person by adding an extra tag, as you can see here. So the actual active campaign doesn't have the option to remove people from their list. It's probably part of their business model. Um, so what you need to do, you need to create update contact, choose your list, whatever. This is the main list because what I do, I'm sorry, what I do is I push everybody to the main list and then I segment with, uh, with tags. Now I update, so if the contact record exists, I update this person with the tag remove and then inside of active campaign, when the remove tag is applied, an automation will trigger and then the automation takes that person from all lists. So that's it. That's how I hopefully create a better user experience with the unsubscribe flow than the standard ManyChat flow. Um, key takeaway here is keep your lists clean and make sure you create flows with as less friction as possible. In this case, when somebody wants to unsubscribe, just unsubscribe them. So when somebody taps or types unsubscribe, Boom, you have sex successfully unsubscribed. Create audiences of those that are unsubscribed using tags. Take people off your lists as much as possible and um, build those audiences for exclusions as well. If you got any questions about this, make sure you send me a message and then obviously I'm happy to, happy to, uh, happy to answer all your questions.